All right. So this is a pop-up hour and I love this. Um, that just came to me too is pop-up thoughts that came from um in the last couple hours. We were really rolling in um sharing and had a flow of um, at least for me, because I've been in all of the hours, like they were just continuing to flow in the next and Beth too. Um, and one of the things that kind of connected for me was the fact that we're in the month of August talking about love fearlessly and uh, the discussion of the acronym love was happening last week for strategy hour for a mastermind. And, um, Terry was in on that call. So Terry, it's kind of fun. Um, another acronym for love actually was really, or maybe it's just more clarity from what Beth was sharing in um, one of the hours earlier and in discussion. So the acronym of love, I just got more clarity around it, I'll say. So listen to your soul self. So your spirit, your soul self, listening to ourself is the L. And then overcome anxiety, fear, obstacles, right? So when we're listening to ourselves, things can, you know, we get those feelings of anxiety or excitement that we can shift them to be, you know, this means change, this means something, we can give it our meaning with our thoughts. So being able to overcome them. And then the V is really valuing our conscious choice to do what we said we wanted to do. So valuing that when we make the conscious decisions of, you know, focusing on a goal or an intention and things that we want to come to fruition, you know, giving value to those conscious choices that we made. And then the E is all about evaluating the progress. Another discussion this morning was really about, you know, is daily too much for some people to really be assessing, um, you know, is weekly better for some people? And I, for myself, I wrote down, is set, um, evaluating the progress two or more times a week. And that just kind of came because thinking about the um, intention of, you know, you never want to miss, I think it's more than two days in a row of doing your habits and the things that serve you um, and getting back on track. So for me, I wrote down two or more times a week, being able to check in on the progress of my burning desire or my set intention for a time frame that I'm really focused on something that will infuse love in my intention is is using those four checkpoints for me. So that was just some clarity that came around that this morning. So I'm curious um, what comes to you guys for that. Um, one thing that popped up for me um, is in the O, oh, the overcoming and stuff. And it just took me back to climbing the mountain, pushing through, but not looking too far forward, too far forward and not looking back because that's where anxiety comes from is living in the future, living in the past. Mm -hmm. If we're in the moment, looking at one foot going in front of the other, one put, foot pushing down on the pedal to come mm -hmm. up, focusing on our breath because our breath is only in this moment, then um, that can take a lot of weight off of overcoming and just letting it be accepting what is and that's pushing down on the pedal <laughs> focusing on the breath i love that as another oh one foot forward Ooh. yeah that's what i heard you say and i was like ooh, that's really that's that's another way of looking at that oh for love like how are we focused on infusing love and in, in whatever we're bringing forward, focus on that one foot forward. I love that. Yeah. And something else that's kind of coming up for me is, um, so visioning just came up and I've, I've never, I've, very rarely been like that hasn't aligned for me like visioning too far in the future but what i can say is yes setting that intention and then living in the moment to have it flow there to have it become there to have it unfold there instead of step by step by step you know like it is step by step by step 
right now in this moment, but not step by step. This step is going to like this step has to happen to get me there. No, it's like one step. You will get there if you just take, if you just push down the pedal. Well, yeah. And you, I mean, this morning when I came in on the convert end of the conversation, it was, you know, the idea of knowing you can do whatever you set your mind to. Yeah. So you can set your mind to uh, accomplish like a triathlon. You set your mind to accomplish that. And then what you're doing is, uh, taking those those steps one one at a time to accomplish that if what you've set your mind to so it's not like you're living in the future but you are setting your mind to something you know or nothing you know it could be nothing then uh, then you're taking a, a step every day towards you know the unknown which is not a bad thing to do but when you're looking at at a goal like doing a triath triathlon that is in the future, but it's what you do in the present that makes it possible for you to to do you know to do that thing. So it's kind of like there's we want to live in the moment. We live in the present. Each breath we take, each choice we make is in the present, but it's also guiding us towards our dreams and goals, and you know being that person that we were created to be. So it's kind of a you know it's a balance, and I hate the word balance, but anyway, it's a balance. <laughs> between living today in the moment but with an eye towards you know i mean my eye is towards eternal life i mean it's always there and yet i'm not that's not what i mean it does kind of help me make my decisions but so it's kind of, it's, it's something to be pondering at all times i believe you know how, yeah. do you, how do you live in the present moment yet have your mind set on specific goals and not get caught up in in being you know anxious about the future well, and, and as you say that, what comes up is it is that trust within ourselves, and it's that trust within God, because that will pull you forward. Yeah. That will pull you. We don't have to grrr our way through it. It will, as long as we are looking within and being aware. So for me, what when you said balance, it, it to me came became awareness. Like yeah. it is just that awareness of all. Yes. Of, I love of that. all of it. Yeah. I love it. I will mm -hmm. use that. I use that word a lot. And now I'll have it be the synonym for balance. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. My note is to make to to the present makes it possible. And then I wrote to be pulled in the direction of awareness. So I'm I'm sitting with that moving forward yeah. and just bringing like clarity that. to those those pieces of me being a future for focused person a lot. And, you know, I'm always practicing being more present in the moment. And I love, I love the distinction of how we can shift perspective in some of those um, awarenesses. Thank you for that. Okay, great. Well, we are at the top of the hour, lady. 